Nebuchadnezzar acted like he was God. He treated other people like he was God. He thought he was God until he met the real God of Israel. I remember taking one glance at the ocean and thinking, I can totally hop in that beautiful ocean, cool off, and be back in the same spot doing nothing in about 90 seconds. And that's exactly what I did. The water was perfect, just cool enough to be refreshing. The waves were a little big, but nothing I couldn't handle. With my head down, I took a few breaststrokes toward land, towards land, attempting to ride the, the waves rolling in. I swam for about 30 seconds, looked up at shore, saw no change in where I started. Wow, I'm out of shape. This was my first thought. Out of breath, but enough in me to try again without hesitation. I put my head down and stroke, stroke, stroke. My strokes get stronger when a wave come, comes up, as if it may help me get to shore, but it passes me with ease. I stay in the same place, as if I were chained to the sea floor. This was the first time I felt it. Call it butterflies, call it panic. Call it a moment of clarity, I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I then lay on my back, puffed up my chest, began to sing an old church hymn. Stop fighting the current, I heard. Stop fighting, and I did. Ten seconds later, my feet were on coral and I stood up. As we stood together on the shore, staring at the current, he told me he comes here all the time to spearfish. One of the strongest currents around. It's a good day for you, he said. I shook his hand, walked humbly back to the house. I guess you could say my vacation mode came after that. He lived like an animal. And then he woke up and his sanity returned. And this is what he said. I praised and worshiped the Most High God and honored the one who lives forever. Not his statue that wasn't alive. Not his golden image that could do nothing. I honored the Most High God. Thank you. 
Oh, you're done.